Good morning. My name is David Nelson. I'm the Acting Assistant Secretary of State for Economics, Energy, and Business Affairs. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the announcement ceremony of the 2009 World Food Prize Laureate. I would like to welcome, in particular, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack, Kenneth Quinn, President of the World Fi Food Prize Foundation, Ambassador Samuel Asifa of Ethiopia, and Mr. and Mrs. John Ruin of the World Food Prize Foundation. I would like to thank Congressman Leonard Boswell for joining us here today. And I would also like to welcome the many ambassadors and other leaders from the Washington Diplomatic Corps, as well as senior officials from other agencies, NGOs, and think tanks who are here this morning. I would like to thank the organizers of the World Food Prize for awarding the prize in recognition of the important contribution agriculture plays in reducing hunger and increasing incomes. The prize recognizes individuals who have made remarkable achievements in improving the quality, quantity, and availability of food throughout the world. I would like to thank John Ruan III, Iowa businessman and philanthropist, for sponsoring the prize. The U.S. government is dedicated to reducing hunger around the world in cooperation with NGOs and others. The World Food Prize is emblematic of our shared commitment to this goal. Now I would like to introduce Kenneth Quinn, former U.S. Ambassador to Cambodia and current President of the World Food Prize. Ambassador Quinn retired from the Department of State in 2000, having served 32 years as a career officer in the Foreign Service. He then embarked on his second career to help address the problems of hunger and poverty by recognizing significant achievement in agriculture and nutrition. Ambassador Quinn will be followed by Secretary Clinton. Ambassador. Thank, thank you very much, Assistant Secretary Nelson. I think we've set a record today with the size of the, uh, the crowd here today. So welcome to all of you, to the Iowa Congressional Delegation. Uh, Mrs. Barbara Grassley, wife of Senator Charles Grassley, thank you so much for, for being here with uh, Congressman Boswell, Congressman King, uh, ambassadors, distinguished guests. First, let me express uh, the great appreciation on behalf of our chairman, John Ruan III, and Janice Ruan, my wife, Lay Sun, and all of us at the World Food Prize for the honor of once again holding our laureate announcement ceremony here in the magnificent Benjamin Franklin Room. This is a personal pleasure for me as well because this is the room in which I was sworn into the Foreign Service 41 years ago. I also want to acknowledge members of the World Food Prize Council of Advisors who are here today, Al Clossy, Peter McPherson, and Cynthia Milligan, as well as past laureates, Dr. Per Pinstrup Anderson over there and Catherine Bertini uh, over here. I very much regret that Dr. Norman Borlaug, founder of the World Food Prize, is not able to be with us today. Spoke with him a few days ago and he asked me to extend his personal greetings to everyone, but especially to you, Secretary Clinton and Secretary Vilsack. And he had a message for everybody who was here. And if you know Dr. Borlaug, he said, fight, fight, fight. So, <laughs> I, and I did it just the way he said it. So, and, uh, but Dr. Borlaug established the World Food Prize to recognize and inspire breakthrough achievements in increasing the quality, quantity, and availability of food with the hope that one day, it could come to be seen as the Nobel Prize for Food and Agriculture. And laureates who have received our $250,000 prize come from countries and organizations around the world, Bangladesh, Brazil, China, Denmark, India, Mexico, Sierra Leone, Switzerland, the United Kingdom, the United States, and the United Nations. But they share one trait in common. Their achievements have uplifted millions and millions of people. This year, we add an individual from still another country to that par um, pantheon of heroes, a laureate whose agricultural work has impacted millions of lives in sub-Saharan Africa and indeed around the world. Born in a remote African village, our laureate now serves as a plant breeder and a gen geneticist on the faculty of Purdue University, where his research has dramatically improved the production of sorghum, one of the world's five major grains. He developed and introduced the first sorghum hybrid in Africa in the early 1980s, which was drought tolerant and produced significantly higher yields. In the 1990s, he conquered the greatest biological constraint to cereal production in Africa, the deadly weed Striga. 
Having discovered the biochemical basis of Striga's parasitic relationship with sorghum, our laureate's breeding program at Purdue produced many sorghum varieties resistant to drought and to Striga, with yields 10 times greater than local varieties. Our laureate has further partnered with leaders and farmers across sub-Saharan Africa to improve management practices for sorghum, and with his work being carried forth by a new generation of young African agricultural scientists that he's personally trained and inspired. His achievements have impacted hundreds of millions of people. It's my privilege to announce that the 2009 World Food Prize laureate is Dr. Gabisa Ijeda of Ethiopia. Now, he is going to be presented our prize at a marvelous ceremony at the magnificent Iowa State Capitol on October 15th in Des Moines. I've already told Ambassador Asifa to book his flights to be there, and he assured me he would. But that ceremony is going to be held in conjunction with our international symposium, the Borlaug Dialogue, which will focus on food, agriculture, and national security. It's a topic that now President Obama and you, Secretary Clinton, have spoken about as being of such great importance, and it's the heart of Dr. Borlaug's legacy as well. And Secretary Vilsack, we are so delighted that you're going to be able to join us and to uh, hold a uh, ministerial roundtable at that conference. Now, I have some additional news. Uh, I've just received word that uh, Bill Gates, the co-chairman of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, has confirmed to be a keynote speaker at our conference in October. And he will be joined by uh, former president of Mozambique, Joaquim Chisano, and uh, Ellen Coleman, the CEO of DuPont Pioneer, Indra Nuyi, the CEO of PepsiCo, and Patricia Wirtz, the CEO of ADM, just to name a few of the people that are going to be there. So I want to extend an invitation to all of you to join us for what we hope will be the most significant observance of World Food Day anywhere around the globe this coming October. And, uh, Go to our website, www World Food Prize, and uh, register because I think like this event today, it's going to be a tough ticket with uh, a lineup like that. When you leave, you'll be given one of our brochures that will give you some more particulars about the, about the program. And uh, you know the number of people from Des Moines and the Des Moines Partnership who are here today, and they're going to be out of their way to make you feel welcome uh, and that. And of course, you also got a... Uh, invitation to nominate, so we need more nominees like Dr. Ejeta. So please consider and find someone to nominate for our prize on that. But while our dialogue is in October, in a very real sense, it will begin today with our next two speakers. Uh, Madam Secretary, I want to say that I personally felt an enormous sense of excitement as I watched on TV the first day you came into this building. And I was feeling some regret that I had retired because as you talked about development and all that excitement, I really...